A eureka moment came for me when I was looking at the hind legs of an insect through a microscope and I saw what looked like gears on the inside of each of the legs. My immediate thought was, well, animals just don't have gears. I was looking at the legs of the champion jumping insect, a small plant sucking bug just a few millimetres long that I collected from my grandson's garden in Cambridge. It uses a catapult mechanism to jump in a thousandth of a second to a speed of about 12 miles per hour and in so doing experiences gravitational forces, colossal ones, of about 500 g. I would pass out at about 5 g. So the first question was, do the structures I saw work like gears as well? To answer this, I slowed down a jump by taking 30,000 pictures every second with a high-speed camera mounted on the same microscope. That's a thousand times faster than the video camera in your phone. Amazingly, as the insect jumped, I could see the gears on the two legs first interlock and then move past each other in just the same way as gears on a bike or a car do. So the next question was, what are the gears contributing to the jump? Well, the two legs are synchronized to within 30 millionths of a second of each other something that the brain would find impossible to control, but which a direct mechanical linkage through the gears can easily achieve. It remains quite a shock to me to realise that these gears were first evolved by just this one small group of insects many, many millions of years ago. Our reinvention of gears came very much later.